I'm going to show you how you can edit like a pro using iMovie's clip rating feature. But before I show you that editing hack, I first need to show you how iMovie's clip rating feature works. So here we are in iMovie, and here in the media browser, I have a bunch of video clips. Now, when you're working with a large number of clips like this, it's really helpful to identify the clips you want to use in your edit versus the clips you don't want to use. It just makes the editing process go faster. iMovie gives you a great tool for sorting your clips. Clip rating. So let's say I'm reviewing my clips here in the browser, and I decide that this clip right here is a good clip that I want to include in my edit. In professional editing, we call this a select. Well, I just select the clip, then hit the F key on my keyboard, and you can see the clip has this thin green line on top of it. This indicates that this clip is a favorite, F for favorite. You can also favorite a clip using this little heart-shaped button at the bottom of the viewer. Likewise, you can unfavorite a clip by selecting it, then selecting the little heart button again, or by using the keyboard shortcut U to unrate the clip. I'm going to go ahead and favorite a bunch of clips in the browser here. So now I have several clips in the browser that are my favorites, and I can identify them by the little green lines on the top of the clips. That's great and all, but I still find the media browser a bit too cluttered. I want to see just my favorite clips. So I'll go up to this tiny menu at the top right of the browser, where it says All Clips, and I'll select the tiny arrows, and from the pop-up menu, select Favorites. And now the media browser has been filtered to just show my favorited clips. Now I can concentrate on just the clips I want to use in my edit, my selects. To see all the clips in the media browser again, I just go up to the filter menu and select all clips. And there are all my clips. You can also do negative sorting in the media browser. So instead of selecting clips that I want to use in my edit, I select clips I don't want to use. So for example, let's say I review this clip and decide I don't want to use it. I select it, then hit the delete key on my keyboard. Now don't worry, it won't delete the clip. It just places a thin red line on the top of the clip. This indicates that this clip has been rejected. You can also reject a clip by selecting it, then selecting this little X button at the bottom of the viewer. To unreject a clip, you just select it, then select the little X button again, or you can use the keyboard shortcut U again to unrate it. And like with favorites, you can filter the media browser based on rejected clips. So if I select a bunch of clips, and tag them as rejected. Then go up and select the filtering menu. You see, I actually have two choices. I can hide the rejected clips from the media browser, and you can see they've disappeared, or I can just show the rejected clips. To see all the clips in the media browser again, I just go back up to the filter menu and select all clips, and there are all my clips. So those are the basics of rating clips in iMovie. It's a great way to keep yourself organized while editing, which is important. But the real power of iMovie's clip rating feature is the ability to rate parts of clips. I've got this clip in the browser which has several takes of the same shot. So I'm going to scrub through and decide, okay, this is the good take that I want to use, the select. But I don't want any of the other takes. I can favorite just this take, this part of the clip, by scrubbing to the start of the good take and hitting the I key on my keyboard to mark an in point. Then scrubbing to the end of the good take and hitting O on my keyboard to mark an out point. Then I hit F on my keyboard or select the little heart button at the bottom of the viewer and a green line appears over the portion of the clip I selected indicating only that part of the clip is favorited. And if I go up to the browser filter menu and select favorites, only the portion of the clip I favorited appears. Essentially, I created a subclip of the original clip. This feature comes in really handy when working with long running clips containing several takes or several different shots. And if you're wondering, yes, you can reject parts of a clip. 
I'll go back up to the sorting menu and select all clips. I'll select the long clip I just favorited, then hit the U key on my keyboard to unrate it. I'm going to mark an in and an out point. This time I'll hit the delete key on my keyboard to reject that portion of the clip that I selected. I'll go back up and select the filter menu and select rejected. And you can see only the rejected portion of the clip shows up. I'll go back to all clips. Now watch what happens when I select hide rejected. Did you catch what happened? The portion of the clip I marked as rejected was hidden, consequently splitting the original clip into two clips. Now don't worry, your original media is untouched. You can go back up to the filter menu and select all clips and everything goes back to normal. So with iMovie's clip rating feature, you can sort your clips, you can sort parts of your clips, but you can also use iMovie's clip rating feature to actually edit your video. So in the browser, I have this long on-camera clip where I just kept the camera rolling through my entire delivery. So everything's there, the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is a typical recording workflow for YouTube creators. I'm going to edit down this clip so I just have all the good stuff edited together. And I'm going to do it using favorites. I'm going to start by going over to the top right corner of the browser and selecting this little cog wheel. And I get this menu. I'm going to make sure audio show waveform is selected just to help me navigate through the clip. Then I'll go to zoom and click and drag on the zoom bar to zoom into the clip in the browser. I'll zoom in until the zoom factor is at 30 seconds. With my on-camera clip zoomed in in the browser, I can scrub through the clip with more precision. I'm going to start at the beginning of the clip and hit the space bar to start playing the clip. Thing. <laughs> I really thought hard about. Then I'll hit the L key on my keyboard to speed up the playback. Successive presses of the L key speeds up the playback more. This allows me to move through the clip fast while at the same time being able to understand what's being said. To pause, I hit the K key. To play backwards through the clip, I press the J key. Tap the J key again, and reverse playback goes faster, and so on. Now you can certainly scrub through the clip with the scrubber bar to find your edit points, but I find shuttling using the J, K, and L keys more effective in a situation like this where I need to hear the dialogue. When I find the beginning of a good section, I'll hit the I key on my keyboard to mark an in point. Thing. <laughs> I really about. I'll shuttle forward until I find the end of the good section, I better, I better then hit the O key on my keyboard to mark an out point. So the good section is now selected. So I'll hit the F key on my keyboard to favorite it. I'm going to go through the rest of this long clip and favorite the rest of the sections that I want to use in my video. Now this could take a bit of time depending on how long your clip is. But rest assured, this is the hardest part of the process. Alright, I've favorited all the clips I want to use in my video. The next step is to go back up to the clip filtering menu and select Favorites. And there are all of my favorited subclips all of the good parts from that long on-camera clip. Here is where the editing part comes in. I'm going to click and lasso select all the favorited clips in the browser. Then I'll hit the E key on my keyboard. The favorited subclips that I selected are added to the timeline in the order they appear in the media browser. What you end up with is a rough cut or a rough edit of your video already on the timeline, created using favorites. With this method, the bulk of your edit decisions are made while you review your footage, which is a key part of a professional editing workflow. All you have to do now is go in and refine your edit with some trimming and or some rearranging of clips. And in case you're wondering, you still have access to Eclipse footage outside the favorited section.